everybody. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. My first guest this evening is a stand-up comedian you know as the co-host of Weekend Update on Saturday Night Live. He created and stars in the sketch comedy series That Damn Michael Che, which returns tomorrow for its second season. Please welcome to The Late Show, That Damn Michael Che! <laughs> Do you tell them to get that excited? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice to have you on. Oh, it's great to be here. Thank you so much. First for time me. I've ever had a chance to sit down with you, but not your first time in this theater. I understand you made your television debut on this stage. Is that true? That's right. I did. I did uh, stand up on Letterman in 2012. Yeah. Wow. That's a big ten years. Now, so tell me about that, because I remember the first time I got a call to, to be on Dave. Uh, I, I remember it was during Hurricane Sandy. And oh, so, I, okay, yeah. I had no power. I, lived, I was living in Jersey City. I had no power, no electricity, no anything. And um, I didn't know I was supposed to do it, but they called my best friend, who lived like 30 minutes away, because he had a phone. And he drove to my house, knocked on my window, and was like, they want you to do Letterman tomorrow. And I was like, this isn't funny. <laughs> And, uh, but they knew to call your best friend. They knew to call him because my manager was like, they were just trying to find somebody in Jersey City that, wow. that could find me. Okay. And uh, I went and um, stayed in a hotel, and I didn't have any clothes or anything. I mean, it's not e it was not easy to get around. People forget, like, it was not easy no. to get in and out of the city or we anything. We had to drive. We had to, like, pick up a hitchhiker because it was like... Oh, because it was only high occupancy going exactly. to the city, right. It was me and my boy. <laughs> So we're like driving around, like anybody want to drive into the city with us? And, and some guy was hey, like, ladies. Yeah. Some guy was with like a kid. He's like, I'll get in. And I was like, you should not do that. He's like, <laughs> got in with like a six-year-old and we just drove to the city. We went to Saks. I bought a, I was like, uh, I got a blazer. Mm -hmm. Well, well I, I got the photo. Yeah. I got the photo. So this, this, you didn't, you did, you did not have, bring this from home? You had to buy this? No, that was about 40 pounds ago. Which way? Oh, uh, that way. No, I, I remember I went to I went to Saks. I went to Saks and, and I was like, I'm I'm going on Letterman and I'd like to look great. And she gave me this three thousand dollar Gucci jacket. And so we walked across the street to H and M. And I got that blazer. In yeah. fact, that pocket square is probably the receipt. It's like <laughs> <laughs> 150 yeah. bucks. Thanks, H&M. Yeah. There you go. I do want to... You look really good. I want to point out that your first instinct was, I'm going on Dave. I want to look really good. Eh. Thanks for dressing up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what... Uh, you just feel so relaxed now. Is that why you're yeah, wearing the hoodie? I don't know why I'm wearing maternity clothes, but... <laughs> 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 I don't know. This is great. This is awesome, man. This is like where the Beatles played. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah. You know, this yeah. is insane. Yeah. Now, uh, like like me, if you're from a from a pretty big family, how many how many kids? I'm the youngest of seven. All right, being the yeah. youngest is great of a big family. Yeah, isn't my it? my parents did not have cable. <laughs> um, are you now of being one of a lot one of a lot of kids? What, are you the funniest one in your family? No, no. According to you or them? Both, no. <laughs> I feel like the funniest, the funniest ones are never the ones that end up being comedians. It's always like the third or fourth ones that are really trying to overachieve. <laughs> the funny ones, they're just, they're very confident to be I think the funniest people in my family was my grandfather and my grandmother, who, uh, they, they were the funniest. My grandfather was a pastor. Mm -hmm. And uh, so he knew how to hold court. He was funny on purpose. My grandmother uh, wasn't funny on purpose. She just couldn't help it. <laughs> just couldn't help it. She no would, filter? No filter. And she would exaggerate. She would, oh, she would exaggerate. Anything, anybody, she, he was nine feet tall. You know, <laughs> he 
He wasn't nine feet. He was 2,000 pounds. <laughs> and she would say, like, why could you call me a liar? <laughs> <laughs> she was the best. We have to take a little bit of a break, but when we come back, I'll ask Michael uh, how he feels about talking about the news every week. Y you might be surprised by his answer. <laughs> <laughs> 